All right, so welcome back for the second half of Rosewood. So, I like to get the evidence here because it's really not that tricky to do. And I like the extra points. You gotta knock a couple guys out, but you get more points for knocking them out and taking the evidence than you do for leaving it all alone and taking the zero. So for that we need an extra distraction item. So what I did was I picked up the knife, dropped it over there, waited for them to finish their conversation, came back over here because on Purist there's a guard that doesn't move over there. So you had to chuck the bottle, create the distraction, pick up the knife and move on. The evidence is up in this next area. There's three guys. Uh, if you only, or if you don't take out the gas mask guy, then you only need to take out two. Because the gas mask guy is a purest difficulty add-in that does not move from his position. But these other two guys wander around. One of them can potentially see you when you're on the catwalks above, so it's not a bad idea to take them out anyway. And you get a lot of points, especially if you've already completed all your challenges like I have. It's like over 3,000 points for evidence. You see you want to do that again in the same spot. Bring the second guy over. Hopefully it's not the gas mask guy. And it is. So we got to take out all three. So, we still end up ahead like over 2,000 points, even after knocking these guys out and not hiding their bodies. So, it's not a bad deal, and you get some uh, instinct for later. So, now we're going to do it one more time, take this guy out. The end part with Wade is the same as it would be on any other difficulty, especially if uh, you still need the challenge for taking him out while being unseen. So. You just leave that guy there because nobody else comes through here. Pick up that knife. Grab the evidence. Double back this way because you want to take this ledge up to the catwalk. I'm so glad that they brought back David Bateson. There was originally talk of them not using David Bateson because they were bringing in other Hollywood talent, <clears throat> which is absolutely fine. I enjoy that, you know, there's some established names attached to this, like Powers Booth. He was awesome in 24. But um, anyway, I mean, I just don't think you can have this game without David Bateson. He's been the voice and visual, like physical reference for... 47 since the game began. So, I spent more time worried about where I was sitting here than actually watching what was going on. So I threw my timing off just a little bit. But basically, as long as that guy up there turned away like he did there, I could actually go right now. But as long as that guy up there is turned away and this guy here's back is turned, you can move to your next position. Whoa. Which is the set of pipes directly to your viewing left. So now I'm going to go <clears throat> chill right here. We need that knife that I picked up back there to create a distraction here without sticking this guy in the face. Oh, there you go. I'm going to wait for this guy to come, and this guy to move up, so that they're both distracted. Chuck it, and move on to the next area. Stick right. I freaked out and stick left. stuck left for some reason. I don't know why, but just stick right. It's way easier. I almost got spotted there. So, yeah, from here on out, it's pretty much the same as it is on any other difficulty level. If you've never done this, I'll walk you through it so you can get that challenge. But you just want to sneak over here instead of running directly in for Wade. 
because that will institute or that will incite a gunfight and get this challenge you have to remain on the scene. So turn this pipe off, which will clear the steam and make way for this about this vent. And uh, you'll take this all the way to the back. You'll actually end up behind Wade here. And there's a valve, a pressure release valve for some steam back here that bursts a pipe next to where Wade's standing. And that's the end of the mission, so I'll let you watch it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode. Motherfucker, and you baldy, don't you? Bullet in her head. That's what I'm saying. Wait, this is what happens when you start doing that anymore. Hope, South Dakota. You're a long way from home. <laughs> I got wood, man. Why do I have wood? <coughs>